And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey, would you like to be a criminal? Would you like to steal stuff and get away before the police catch you? And at the same time, make sure your friends get caught? What an exciting premise for this card game called Alarm. Uh, don't get caught. Will you collect the most of the loot? Or will you end up behind bars? Alarm is a fast and fun card game for three to six players. Something I said there was not correct. Let's find out as we look at this review. Each player starts the game with a lawyer card, which is also a sort of an overview card. And then you have a whole deck of cards that you'll be using over the course of the game. Now, what a player is uh, in each round, on my turn, I turn this card up. It's loot. I can stick that in front of any of the players of the game. So let's say I stick it in front of me, okay? The next person draws over a chain, they stick it in front of the player and cross with them. The next player sticks, turns a lock, they stick it in front of this player. And then the fourth player draws this loot, and they have no choice but to stick it in front of this player. Each player then takes what they've gotten and puts it in front of them, and we start another round. Okay? Sometimes you'll draw something that cancels out something. So this cancels out the, the lock and chain. So if you got this card, they would cancel each other out. If you got just this card, you would hang on to it. And there's all sorts of different cards in the deck. Some There's dogs and there's different things that will cancel out. There's a four-leaf clover that cancels any of the four negative items out. Although you can't save this, you have to use it as soon as you draw it. If at any point in total you have in front of you two of the police badges, three dogs, four chains, four locks, two dogs, two chains, and two locks, or five bags of loot, you are eliminated from the game. You are allowed to flip over your lawyer card at one point to cancel a card that's about to be given to you. So if you're about to get something that will throw you in jail, you can do that once per game. There's also a few action cards in the game that when you draw them, an action will take place. Uh, here you can steal a loot card from someone else. Here everybody has to pass a card around the table. It's a panic. Now, people are going to be eliminated, eliminated, eliminated. Eventually there will only be two people left in the game. At the beginning of each turn, you must discard a loot card, and if you can't do that, you lose. So you need to have enough loot cards that you can survive this final two-person showdown. Uh, but uh, other than that, if you get too much loot, the police will catch you because I guess you're riding around with money falling out of your pockets. That's the game. There's a, there's a, a variant where on back of the lawyer cards, one of them is slightly different where you are an informant, but it basically plays out the same way. Just another way to pass a card to somebody else. Oh my. Bad, 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 bad. Graphic design. Bad. Um, ease of play. Well, I guess that's good. But everything else is bad. I mean, really. I, I, uh, we played this and everyone just looked at each other and said, thanks, Tom. <laughs> it was just, oh, I'm surprised. This is one of those games I look at and I'm like, how did this get published? Essentially, you turn a card over and give it to someone. It's pretty obvious. Bad card. Give it to somebody else. There is no good cards, really. So you're trying to give people combinations of things. They, I got a dog. Joe already has a dog. Let's give him another one. I got a dog. No one has a dog. I'll give it to you. I don't like you today. There's no counters, really. I mean, you get those cards that cancel stuff. Ooh, I can give that to myself. But if you already gotten a card that turned you were forced to give it to somebody else. Ah, caramba, it's just, man, you're just drawing cards and giving them to another player and seeing what happens. Eventually, mercifully, players are eliminated from the game so there's two players left and then the battle of loot. Essentially, who has more loot cards? Now, granted, you could draw a loot card and maybe somehow win the game that way. No strategy, no tactics. Okay, I guess there's the slightest bit of tactics. Man, no, 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 no. Do not buy this game. Do not, do not design games like this, guys. Come on. 
Yeah, I mean, I understand. There's a, a, a crowd of people, and a lot of people who like the lighter, simpler games out there, but I couldn't even recommend this to them because the graphic design's so bad, and I think people would be frustrated because you could literally lose after three or four turns just because other people gave you cards and you never had a chance to counter that. How is that fun? Well, the answer is, it's not. Dice Tower Judgment! Horrible! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! <laughs> <laughs>